Hello everyone, Ron here from RJJ's Reactions. I hope you're having a wonderful day. I'm back with Laura Fabian. We did her song Je Suis Malade. It was amazing. And we had a great reaction. So I received many comments and a lot of information from various people. Eric in particular sent me a ton of information. I haven't even gone through it all yet. But it's all printed off and I'm ready to read once I have the time. However, uh, this was one of the suggestions made, Love by Grace, and apparently it was used, I think it was said in a South American soap opera show. I don't know, <laughs> I don't watch soap operas and South American ones I wouldn't have seen, but uh, this particular video is from the Canadian Juno Awards, and uh, so it's live, at least I think it's live, so let's have a listen. So here we are, uh, Lara Fabian, Love by Grace, live at Juno Awards Canada 2001. Upscaled, not sure what that means, but I guess they've maybe fixed the video. We shall see. Uh, uh, by the way, thank you to everyone who sent me information and comments. And Eric, you've sent me a ton of information. So I do appreciate it. I, it does take me time to get through everything, but uh, I always read everything. back it up a little bit I just wanted to stop for a moment to mention the clarity of her voice her enunciation when she's singing it's very clear and very beautiful at the same time uh, so I wanted to mention that I'm just going to back that up a little bit and we'll continue Find out there's a weakness in my faith I was brought here on the power of Thank you. 
coming into the closing. Uh, the power, she has great power uh, and she doesn't abuse it. It's used well. It fits into the song and it again the clarity uh, and the way and her breath control and her voice control it's all there. It's all so well done. Um, sometimes people try that and it doesn't quite work. It might still be amazing <laughs> but it doesn't quite work. They just don't have the control either the breath control or the voice control and of course she's showing uh, emotion uh, on her face and the way she's presenting as well. It's difficult to get all those things together and I'd be quite patient if something was missing because uh, as long as there's enough but with Lara you're getting the whole package, you're getting everything here. I'm going to back it up just a little bit and then I think we're coming into the closing. <laughs> There you go. A uh, very clear look at Laura. Amazing vocals, as I've already mentioned. Uh, beautifully sung. And uh, the Juno Awards, I used to watch the Juno Awards quite a bit. And this is 2001, so it's back a little bit. Um, so I, but I don't remember seeing this. I, I didn't always manage to catch them. I don't watch, I haven't watched them for years now. I've tried a couple of times. The artists they have on, I'm not normally interested in, sorry to say, but I probably miss some good ones, but I, I kind of look at the list and go, eh, it's not for me. But uh, I do like new artists, but I don't know. Some of the awards shows lately, it's probably just me. Uh, but I missed Laura uh, in this particular one, I think, in 2001. Beautifully done. Let's have a look at the lyrics now. I usually look at the lyrics when the singer wrote the lyrics. In this case, uh, songwriters are David Loggins and R. Wayne Tester. I'm not sure who they are. Love by Grace. I remember the rain on the roof that morning and all the things that I wanted to say. The angry words that came from nowhere without warning that stole the moment and sent me away and you standing there at the doorway crying and me wondering if I'd ever be back. So, okay, so obviously rain often represents sadness or depression. Um, and things I wanted to say, but maybe was unable to say that because she was so angry, uh, or maybe he was angry, or maybe they're both angry, the angry words that came from nowhere. It, it seems like sometimes you say things and, and you think, where's that coming from? Where's It's not really what I want to say, <laughs> but, but it's coming out as anger rather than hurt, rather than uh, making yourself vulnerable. You, you're angry in a sense of protection, I think. The best uh, defense is a strong offense kind of idea. Uh, and it stole the moment and sent me away. So the, this anger from both sides, one side, I'm not sure. Um, but you standing there at the doorway crying. So it sounds like they're both emotional, they're both sad. Maybe they're both angry. I said I didn't come here to leave you. I didn't come here to lose. I didn't come here believing I would ever be away from you. I didn't come here to find out there's a weakness in my faith. I was brought here by the power of love, love by grace. So uh, the intent was not to have a breakup. The intent wasn't for that to happen, but sometimes uh, sometimes things happen, right? Uh, sometimes it doesn't work out the way you think it will. And, uh, and I remember the road just went on forever, just couldn't seem to turn that car around till in the distance, like a long lost treasure, a phone booth that just could not be found. And you standing there at the doorway waiting and the moment when we laid back down. So yeah, sometimes you can't turn things around or it seems like you can't anyway. So you, you get the momentum going one way and uh, particularly if anger or strong emotions involved, it doesn't have to be anger even. Uh, yeah, you, you just, you, you can't always steer the way you want to. So it's a good analogy with the car. Uh, sometimes it doesn't work the way you want to. 
I said I didn't come here to leave you. I didn't come here to lose. I didn't come here believing I would ever be away from you. There's a weakness in my faith. I was brought here by the power of love. That was just a moment in time and one we'll never forget. One we can leave behind because when there was doubt, you'll remember I said. And then I didn't come here believing I would ever be away from you, etc. Love by grace, love by grace. Beautiful song, great lyrics. Um, yeah, it's just a moment in time, but sometimes a moment in time can change the tra trajectory, if I could get that word out, of uh, a whole relationship or uh, other things. Uh, just one moment can make uh, a, a big difference and one will never forget. But, you know, if you work through that, if you can get through these troubled times in a relationship, uh, sometimes, believe it or not, it makes the relationship stronger. Uh, I think sometimes when you look back years later or decades later in some cases, you think those are the things that made it work. You know, the fact that we didn't always agree, the fact that we didn't always get along and we had that battle and it seemed like it was over and then we figured out a way through that. Even if we agree to disagree for the rest of our lives, um, you know, sometimes those are the things that make the relationship stronger. It's better, I think, if both people are those people and one doesn't uh, completely be absorbed by the other. I think that it's nice to have yourself throughout the relationship. Obviously, there's compromises. Obviously, both partners should make changes to make it work. But that doesn't mean giving up yourself altogether, I think. All right, I probably rambled on far too long. <laughs> but I like to extract what I can from lyrics. Other people will extract different things, I'm sure. Let me know. Also, let me know what else you'd like to hear from Lara Fabian or anyone else. It's Ron from RJJ's Reactions. Keep listening. Keep having fun. Bye-bye for now.